Hey, hey, everybody. Good afternoon. CJ Van Sleipman, CJ Goes Live, Steel City Houses, 26 year real estate investor, landlord, entrepreneur, play Xbox with the tenants kind of guy. Today, we are in Western Pennsylvania at a Walmart. Why am I at a Walmart? It's not real estate, right? Well, I'm at a Walmart because it affects us all, guys, landlords and tenants alike. And I'm talking today about a lot of people having to make a choice between feeding their family or paying their rent. So landlords, if you're not getting your rent, some of my tenants are not paying and haven't been paying. And I understand why. We're gonna go in, we're gonna look at the price of food. Uh, for a lot of folks right now, like I said, they're, they don't know whether to put gas in the car or if they're gonna get their kids to school or if they're gonna have food at the end of the week or if their uh, SNAP is gonna work at certain locations or if their SNAP is gonna be taken away. Uh, there's so many factors right now that are affecting the real estate market and I, I believe it's actually affecting the sales of homes as well and uh, our people who own their own homes. Uh, homeowners are, you know, like, do I pay the mortgage? Uh, I got this arm mortgage and it's a thousand more than it was uh, last year or do I put food on the table? We're gonna go in, we're gonna look at some of the prices. Some of them are alarming, guys. And if you're like me, uh, you do the shopping in your house. My wife, she shops like once or twice a year. So when she saw uh, some of the prices, she said, you should do a video and you should like talk to people about why they're maybe not getting their rent. This could be a possibility. And we're gonna go inside and we're gonna take a look at the prices of food. Candy, anyone? $17, 155 pieces. $22 for a bag of candy. $22, I don't know if that's good or bad, but it seems to me like it's pretty bad. $29.98 for Hershey's bars, 30 bucks. Like, I don't know if a lot of people are gonna afford Halloween this year, $27 for a bag of candy. Holy cow. I remember when, just before the pandemic, these were under five bucks. Now they're getting close to like eight for the same size. Probably even smaller, I don't know. But even if it was the same size. Now here you can get a break on one of these. That's, that's a decent price. But who knows how long it's been sitting out there. So I don't know if I'd go for that chicken wrap, five bucks. Hmm. Barbecue. Tomatoes, buck forty-eight a pound. Onions, buck forty-eight a pound. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Oh, you're a Chiefs fan. Ah, my guy. Avocados are pretty good price today. Eighty-four cents. Not bad. Fifty-eight cents for one lemon. I remember when a bag was fifty-eight cents. 58 cents for bananas. Before pandemic, there were 40. My kids love these things here. It's good for basically one serving though. It's not for a family. So like one serving is like four bucks for one of these chop kits. Taylor Farms, delicious. Two bucks for a bag of shredded lettuce. 188 for the classic iceberg. And then we use this on our pulled pork for our restaurant, 198. And it's starting to get pricey. It used to be like a buck. It's not anymore, obviously. You want those sweet peaches and nectarines and things like that, it's gonna cost you. It's not cheap anymore. You like asparagus with your steak? That's what you're gonna pay. Wanna make some fajitas? Buck 48 per pepper. Per pepper. Got you a sweet tooth? You're gonna pay five bucks for one of these little Halo Top guys. Unreal. Oh wow. Rebel? And that's 548. You're gonna eat that in like six bites with a baby spoon. Anybody remember when these were a buck? I think you actually got them cheaper at all. Well, Aldi, maybe 85 cents. Uh, they've doubled. 
kids want some drumsticks. They can cost you eight bucks now. Oh, they have a banana one. I'll try that one. Look at these guys. Guy Fieri. And this guy here, Chef Ramsay. Six bucks for a box meal, frozen box meal. Hungry Man's not too far behind. They're almost five bucks. God. These 100% before the pandemic were like $1.50. Because I used to buy them for my kids all the time. So it's more than, it's almost tripled the price of these Encore things. They're actually decent. Uh, the kids like, the, my kids like this one here the most. We used to eat frozen pizza, but it's actually cheaper to just like make it at home or go to Domino's and get like a real one. You look at them like $5 for Tombstone. I think we all know Tombstone is not like the pinnacle of pizza um, anywhere in this country, but it used to be like two fifty. So this has doubled since pandemic. They are not even, they are not even trying. They're not, whoever this is, table 80, they're not even trying. That's what they want? Come on now. And it feels like it weighs about one ounce. Just a year ago, these were under three bucks. They are delicious. Now they're five. Great value fries, $3.42 a year ago. They were right around $2.20. They've gone up about a buck 20 in the past, not even year. Your $1 bread now costs $1.47. Um, who's buying that? Um, $19 a pound. Like an American pound? $16 a pound. That sounds like a better deal. As you can see, there's a bunch of discounted ones. I think they're probably discounted because they're $19. Who's, who's spending that? Come on, guys. That tomahawk looks incredible, though. That's a 40 bucks. That's worth it. For those of you that like pork, I've seen the price go way up in the past year. But you're looking at like $3.58 a pound now. Does anybody remember when a couple years ago pork was like the other white meat was $1.58 a pound? And as you can see, you got a ton on discount here because people are not spending that money. They don't have it. You don't have it. Start adding up everything just in the few minutes this video's been going. You want one of those bacon sandwiches? Well, for one pound of the cheap stuff, it's six bucks. If you want like better stuff, nine dollars, eleven dollars. Folks, that's an expensive breakfast. Six bucks for hot dogs. And it's not even an eight ounce package anymore. They shrinkflationed it to seven ounces. So you gotta buy for nine bucks. You're not even getting one pound. You're getting 14 ounces, not even 16. You go with the family one, that's a one pound, that's a better deal. But geez, I don't know if you guys have kids like mine who will eat this entire one pound thing by themselves as soon as I bring it home. That's 750 right away as soon as I get home out of my pocket. School lunches are getting kind of expensive. If you have three kids, let's say you're a single parent, you got three kids, and uh, it's four bucks, that's 12 bucks a day to send your kids, so that's $60 a week. Uh, that's $240 a month to feed them a Lunchable at school. Cheese is still kind of reasonable, but I remember a year ago, these were a buck 68. Now they're 222. Cream cheese, love your bagels, five bucks for two of them. Uh, it's not too bad, but it's kind of like double what it was two years ago. Used to buy these a lot, these Hawaiian punch for the kids, you know, especially in the summertime, the neighborhood kids would come around. Um, I would buy them because they were like a buck 50. Now they're 278. Feeling the Southern feeling today, you need some iced tea. It's gonna cost you 426. Uh, a year ago, this was about three, I think we can all agree that soda has skyrocketed, as well as potato chips. But two forty-six is actually a pretty good deal. On most places, I'm seeing over three dollars now. Seven bucks for a case of pop. I think we all saw this one over the past year explode too. So you know, even like these little cans, 
648 and this is walmart so if you go other places i it's it's always higher even at dollar generals some some of them are higher than walmart need to clean your house it's going to cost you 10 bucks for a three pack or 552 for one of these clorox wipey things seriously a two pack of lysol 1347 come on come on oh wow a single one is 750 wow dusting your house just got like a lot more expensive huh no, uh, with these kind of prices, I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to get a washboard out. And I think a lot of people are thinking, <laughs> go get some hand soap and wash your clothes. <laughs> Look at the price on that. Yeah, that's a big jump for bleach. Bleach used to be able to buy for a buck a bottle. Now it's over four. Ten bucks for bounce sheets. Got a pet. I have a cat. Guess what? His name is Money. And this is what he costs me. Uh, this is the food that he likes. And uh, that's a daily thing. So, you know, that's an extra mouth to feed. You do your math. It's like an extra 50 bucks a month just in this food. You get the cheaper ones too, buck. But you know what? He's like, I don't like the cheaper ones, Dad. I like $1.36 ones. Got a dog? Well, you're going to be spending 32 bucks for a bag of 44 pounds of food. I don't have a dog, so I don't know how much food a dog eats, but big dog probably eats at least a couple pounds a day, I'd guess. This one killed me, because I was actually sent out to buy cat litter the other day, and these were my options. Uh, okay. Wow, if you're going with Beneful, the Purina, that's pricey. That's $40 for a bag, and it's 36 pounds. Wow. Almost two bucks for a can of food. That's like more than some human food, right? Like seriously. Look, you can go cheap if you don't love your dog and do 152. But folks, if you have a pet, you know how much this adds up and at the end of the month, how much it's killing your budget. $70 for a pair of Walmart boots. $80, $80. $80. $80. They look like boots that were like $40 a year ago. I'm not sure why they're $80 now. That's a lot. So if you're looking for the deals, Walmart does have deals, you know, like seven bucks, Justice. You just gotta look for them, but you can find them. You know, you can, you can definitely do some help to your budget by getting these discount items, you know, $9 for a pair of shoes. Can't really beat that. Now, if you have a baby, I'd run down here right now and grab all these. I don't know why they're $10, but look at what the original price was. Can you imagine $35 for a bottle of formula? Oh my gosh. Now this is nuts. Yeah, it's a hundred cups, but so what? $13 for pieces of plastic. It's unreal. Great value, a hundred plates. Huh? Is there like something special about this tin foil? Um, what? Does it wrap the food for you? That's insane. Twelve eighty-eight. Yeah, it's like one hundred and fifty feet. That's not even that much. If you're in the restaurant business, folks, uh, you know that that one hundred and fifty-foot roll could go in a day. Oh, we're not even going to go there because we know what the prices are, and they seem to like keep creeping up. You like your cashews? You like your nuts? Well, you're going to pay 17 bucks for the planters. And then if you go down the line here, you can get them for 15 Even mixed nuts, folks, $15. $10 for small mixed nuts. Hmm. Kids like their snacks. 15 bucks is what it's going to cost you for 18 bags now. That's almost a buck a bag. My wife's a big Fritos head. It's gonna cost you almost five bucks for a bag of Fritos now. A year ago, under two bucks. Six bucks for a box of Cheez-It. Malto meal fake cereal, 10 bucks a bag. You might wanna skip the syrup on your pancakes. <laughs> Pretty much the price across the board. My kids will eat that in the afternoon. Three of them. 
Every single one of these used to be a buck or under. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. Look at the prices now. They're all two bucks. Three bucks. Four bucks. Turmeric, five bucks. These weren't these weren't a dollar ever, but all of these were. I mean, a dollar twelve is all right. You're not getting killed, but I, you can even go to Dollar General and I think get these for a buck. But if you're here already, you're gonna just spend the extra buck and get it. Six bucks. Yeah, it's whole wheat, but that's six dollars, folks. Uh, you might want to start eating regular bread again when you see the price of that. $17, folks, for peanut oil. And this is what we buy all the time. And this is the vegetable oil. It's great value. It's still $9. $9, and it fills up one fryer for like a few days. And I skip on the canola because it's two bucks cheaper to buy the vegetable. I spied it for 10 bucks. 25 bucks. These were like 12 bucks two years ago. Maybe 13 bucks. I spied it for 10 bucks. Oh, baby, if you have a baby. Two of these little cups, a buck a cup now. I remember when my kids were little, get like five of them for a buck. Dollar eighteen. Wow, it's even more if you buy them in the singles. Dollar fifty six. Wow. This must be the pasta sauce that when you pour it out, like five times more comes out than <laughs> what's actually in the jar. We all know that even two years ago, this was 50 cents. These have gone up 54 cents in less than a year. Because I used to buy them all the time for the kids. You like your canned chicken breast? Well, that's what you're paying for it now. You want to spice up your life? You might think twice. It is good though, it is delicious, it's almost worth it. I am pretty sure we can go to Wendy's right now and get it for less than four forty-two, and they'll make it for us. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Miracle Whip guy, but yeah. um, you know, after seeing the price of Miracle Whip, I am now a great value mayo guy. Yeah, look at this one. Uh... Oh, I love ketchup as much as the next guy. Sixty-four ounce size, seven dollars. Uh, you can go with the cheap ones, $1.87, but if you've ever had the cheap ones, you know that they're disgusting. Fan of almond butter, $9.94 is what it's gonna cost you now. And if you wanna put some honey on your toast, uh, Local Hive, Great Lakes, $15. The little one, $7.50. My daughters are peanut butter heads. They'll go through one of these jars in a couple of days. This is going to cost you seven bucks for your GIF now. This is barely enough chicken to make uh, fajitas for a family of five. So one meal right here is going to cost you eight bucks just in the chicken, plus the tortillas, plus the vegetables, plus the sauces. You're looking at 20, 25 bucks just to make this at home. Cheaper than Taco Bell. Uh, with prices like that. The bread should come with a pound of free meat. Three bucks for a bag of frozen vegetables, folks. Cauliflower, buffalo style, sweet chili. Interesting, but I think you could probably make it with the great value for a buck. Yeah, um, I'm switching to muffins. Okay, at that price, I might be switching back. <laughs> Want to be one of those cool vegan people? Hang out with some vegans? Well, Amy says, give me nine bucks for my little frozen pizza. <laughs> you can be cool. Pre-pandemic, under two bucks. Now three. Don't have time to cook. All right, stick one of these in the oven for your family. And I know my family eats a whole one, so you add some bread to that. Uh, you're looking at well over $20 plus your drinks. So I think you pretty much get the point that from a year or two ago, things have almost doubled and it's harder and harder for people to actually put food on the table for themselves and for their kids and their family. So landlords, let's try and you know be cool and uh, have some understanding when you see folks going through a tough time. And tenants, 
still gotta pay your rent, man. <laughs> but we, you know, we understand that times are tough for everybody. And uh, it doesn't look like any of these prices are gonna go down anytime soon. So I guess we just gotta make more money, right? Somehow get a gig, you know, go do DoorDash or something like that. And eventually the inflation will cool off. But as of right now, um, God bless everybody and good luck and just happy shopping and, you know, have good shopping habits and choose your items wisely. But God bless everybody and thanks for watching CJ Goes Live. I hope you got some value out of this today. If you did, leave a like, um, comment, you can subscribe. And uh, if you like these kind of videos where it's not always just about real estate, comment below and I'll make some more. Have a wonderful Friday.